Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you here. I hope you are okay. Good We're evening. Going... Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. So we're gonna start in a minute, okay? No. All right. I'm just checking something over here. Well, I have uh, ten people connected. I can see to I can see Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jonathan Ulises. Good evening. I can see Hello. Guillermo is going to be a listener tonight. Good Hello, evening. Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Hello, uh, Maritza. <coughs> Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Marcela. Hello, Ligia. Good evening, Karen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Ligia. Good evening. Leo. Good evening. Good evening, Leo. Good evening, Joanna. Good evening, Lindaura. Sara just got into the class. Okay, so actually there are 15 people connected and that's quite good. Okay, you have homework assignment, right? What was homework assignment? What was the homework? What was the homework? Do you remember about it? Good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening, welcome. Now, Jorge Ulises, I can see Jorge Ulises. Sarabiri, Lionel, Ligia, well, let us wait a little bit for the rest, okay? It's eight o'clock, it's time to start. Uh, what was the homework, people? What was one of the homework assignments? They remember about conversation? Yes, right, some of you are like, like, yes. Okay, uh, do you remember about the activities yes. in the platform? Yes. Yes, right, so. Yes. I remember, yes. I remember uh, the activities in the platforms are quite important. And actually tonight you need to finish them. Remember, this is the first quick. Like we need to cover section number one and section number two, the topics that we have been studying lately, okay? So hopefully everybody can complete the activities tonight. Now, uh, who is ready for the conversation? I only need one volunteer because at the end I will give some more time so that everybody can participate. No, not ready yet. You need some more time, you need. <laughs> Shoana, who did you work with? Good evening. Hello, hello, Jorge. Hello, hello, Joanna. Joanna, Stephanie, who did you work with for the conversation? Okay. Yeah, who did you work with? La tengo, pero no está mi compañera. She's not here yet. Okay, uh -huh. so... Okay, don't worry. Este, ahorita solo estoy de oyente. En unos 10 minutos estoy en mi casa. Okay, no Sara. sé si podemos pasar otro momento. Okay, Sara, don't worry. Actually, okay. well, we're gonna start by by checking some info that we that we need to have some review on, and later you're gonna be given your time. Okay. Now, but I wonder if there is a team that's ready. Jonathan Ulises. 
Hello. Hello. Are you ready with the conversation? Um, Who did you work with? Can you repeat? Uh, are you ready with the conversation, Jonathan? Um, okay. Uh, in conversation, uh, hi, what's your name? Uh, hey, my name is Jonathan. And well, how do you spell his first name? Uh, uh, no recuerdo. Realmente con quién estaba, <laughs> de la persona. Uh, okay, Jonathan, don't worry. Okay, well, I will give you some time. Voy a darles un cierto tiempo. Okay, cuando terminemos con las actividades que tengo preparadas por ahí, van a tener su espacio para decir la conversación, okay? So, be ready. Be ready. Well, um, let me see. I will start by having some review. Remember that the activities in the platform are very, very important, right? Very, very important. Last time we were talking about this and this, that and those, right? And we saw the exercise about this and that, that and those, okay? Um, and tonight, we're gonna go over some information about the verb to be. You actually know perfectly about the verb to be. What is the verb to be, people? What is the verb to be? The verb to be uh, and is uh, or. Ah, uh, okay. In present, we already know that we are talking about am. Um, we are talking about is. And we are also talking about or are right. So, but as you can see, we're gonna be in church of working with just no questions and also double H questions, double H, double H questions, okay, with the verb B. So uh, are you an English student? Yes, you are. You say yes, I am, right? Okay, is he your classmate? Yes, he is or no, he isn't. No, but when you come with a, with a double H, you may say, hey, where do you study? I, I study at school, okay, et cetera. So that's what we're gonna be working tonight. Okay, this is one of the topics. Later, we're gonna see some prepositions, okay? In, in front of, behind, on, the next to, and under. Okay, we're gonna solve some exercises and the class will be done. And at the end, you are gonna be given some time to uh, perform the conversation, okay? So let us pay attention to the topic we're in church of tonight. Here we go. Do you listen? No, right. No, no. no. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hi, everyone. What about this now? Class, you'll learn how yes. Yes. Form. yes. Yes. No, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. Look. Oh, no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Okay. Now, do you see some questions there? With the verb to be? Hello? Hello, do you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. No. yes. Do you see questions with the verb to be 
in the conversation? Where are my car keys? Ah, okay. Hey, where are my car keys? Where are? Very good. Is there another one? Are they in your purse? Are they in your purse? Good. Are they? All right. What else? Are these your keys? Are these your keys? Good. Is this your wallet? Is this your wallet? Is this Where is your wallet? Where is your wallet? Where is your wallet, yeah. Joe? That is my wallet. Okay, so you have like one, That's... two, three, four, like five questions, right? And if you notice over here, it, this question is different from the, the from the one that uh, that follows. Where are my keys? Uh, maybe they are in the car. Are they in your purse? Yes, they are or no, they aren't. So you have to quit to answer two possible answers, right? Are these your keys? Yes, they are or no, they aren't. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is or no, it's not. Where is your wallet, John? Oh, not, that is different, right? Because it's asking for a place. Now we're gonna see uh, further information about, about the video, about this info, the guy that's presenting is going to explain something so pay special attention let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen in order to form yes or no questions we're going to follow the next formula verb to be plus this or in this case could be these plus some kind of complement. So, verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this, your wallet. We have the verb to be, in this case happens to be is, and then we're gonna use this the complement in this case is your wallet. And then of course we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be, these, your keys. And of course we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are. No, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, what, who, what, when, when where, where, how, how, why, why, are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. 
if we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you a WH word plus okay people now let's see let's practice a little bit I have some info over here that I consider can complement the information you saw in the video remember that the word to be it's about am, is, and are. And when we have just no question, it's because you have only two options. You say yes or you say no. Yes or no. Two options. So how come, teacher? Well, I have this chart. Just no questions with the verb to be. So in order to, to, to say them in present, remember it is I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. Okay, so this is the past form. Later, you're gonna use, you're gonna practice that. So, but when we have the sentence in positive, uh, positive statement, you follow this pattern like subject per B and complement. He is from England. When you want to create a question, you start by using the verb to be at the beginning. They say. Is he from England? What's the possible answer? Yes, he is. In this case, yes, he is or no, he isn't. Question over here. Am I sympathetic? Yes. Yes, you are. Or yes, you are sympathetic. Is she coming? No. No, she isn't. No, she isn't coming. Okay, so those are just no questions, right? So... They are called just no question because you have only two options, yes or no. Okay, so for example, you have this one. I am a doctor. Am I a doctor? That's the question. He from England. Question, is he from England? We're happy. Are we happy? She this is past, okay? So we're, we're not going to see this. So, But we're going to see the, the ones that are impressed. So if I say, I am a doctor, what is the question, people? Am I a doctor? Yo soy un doctor. Uh -huh. am, am I a doctor? You start by using the verb to be at the beginning, right? You say, am I? Am I? He is... Question? Is he from England? 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 Are we? Those are the questions, right? Now, we also have like... Are we happy? Are we happy? Yeah. Yes, we are. No, we are. So you, you also have the opportunity to create like negative statements by, by using this, right? Isn't he a student? Aren't you going to swim? Or to swim, sorry. 
aren't you? Isn't he? So, but later you're gonna be like practicing a little bit more. It's like to reaffirm some information that you have. Okay. Now, possible answer. Am I sympathetic? You may say yes. And that's it, right? But commonly people say, yes, you are. And if you want to provide the whole information, yes, you are sympathetic. Question, is it coming? No. No, he isn't, or no, she isn't. No, she isn't coming. Are they married? Yes. Yes, they are. Or yes, they are married. Okay, so this is quite simple. Take a look at the chat. Let me see. I think Sara, Sara, do me the favor to close the microphone. Thank you. Thank you, Sara. You're very kind. Uh, so you say, I am a doctor. I am not a doctor. Question, am I a doctor? Yeah, thank you, Jorge. Thank you. Now, she is busy. Negative, she is not busy. Question, is she busy? Now, let me see. Recuerden cerrar micrófonos si no los están ocupando, por favor. Okay, thank you. Okay, they are the same, they're not the same, are they the same? So, and this, these are yes, no questions, right? Yes, no questions. So I have one exercise that there is not complicated, but I, I want you to, to notice about it. Actually, we have like 15 questions. What is the question, people? Are you 15? Hey, are you 15 years old? What's the possible answer? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. This one. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Next. Who can read the question? Is she a police woman? Is she a police woman? Is she a police woman? No, no, she isn't. She isn't. She isn't. No, she no. isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Am I a student? Yes, she uh, is. Yes. I am. Yes. yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes. Yes. yes, you are. Yes. No, but yes, she is not. Yes, you are. It's because the, she's asking, right? Yes. Am I a student? I yes, you yes. are a student. Okay. Is it a rabbit? Is it a rabbit? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? Yes. So we're going to solve only 10. Are they friends? Are they from friends? Are they from friends? Are they from friends? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, yes they are. Is your brother is some of your brother? Is a man your brother? Is, is, is a man your brother? Uh -huh. uh, no, no, he he is. no, no, he is. No, he is. No, no, he is. Parents are your parents are your old? Parents old? Are your parents old? Okay. No, no, they aren't. They aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. 
Is it cold? 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 Is no, it isn't. No, it isn't. It is. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. So two more. Is Susan a doctor? Is Susan yes, a doctor? Is Susan a doctor? Is Susan a doctor? Yes, she is. And the last one. Are you a Spanish? Are you a Spanish? Are you a Spanish? Are you Spanish? Are you Spanish? Yes, we are. Yes. Yes, we, yes, are. we are. Yes, we are. Okay, very good. So this is this is like this is a part for yes, no question. But remember we were also talking about double H question, right? So in the double H question, I think uh, it is better if we practice over here. You are going to, you're going to see this. Um, let me see if it is the one. Yeah. So you're going to complete the conversation by selecting the correct answer for each sentence or question. For example, this your umbrella? No, it isn't. What's missing here? Is, is, is this your umbrella? Is this your umbrella? No, it's not. Number two. These your keys? Yes, they are. Thanks. Are, are these your, your keys? keys? Yes, your keys. Yes, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thanks. Number three. Are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? These, these are my glasses. Where? 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 Where, are Where are my glasses? glasses? They are on the table. Number four. Is this my pen? No, it's mine. No, it's not. It's, it's not. not. No, it's not. It's not. It's mine. It's not. It's not. It's mine. Let's see. We're going to check. Okay, pretty good. All right. Quite good. Excellent. So that was simple, right? That was simple, but that was very important. Now, questions about it, people. If we get back to the video, because I, I remember I I was just going to to ask you for a couple of questions, for you to create a couple of questions. Hi, everyone. How? Yeah, over here. How and what was the other one? Why? OK, so tell me, how do you create questions with who? Create two or three questions, please. With who? And the verb to be. Who? who are you? Hey, who are you? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Yeah, what else? Who's your teacher? Who are your parents? Who are your brothers? You can say who is or who are, right? Depending on what you are asking. Who is, who are? Uh huh. No more questions? Who, who is your boyfriend? Hey, who's your girlfriend? Who's your boyfriend? Who is a doctor? Who is the doctor? Okay, what about what? What time is it? What, what, hey, is, what time what, is it? What is, what is your, name? your color? What is, your, what is your favorite color? What is your name? What are your keys? Oh, what are these? What's your name? What are their names? Okay. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Gwen? When? when is the party? When when is your birthday? When is your birthday. Uh huh. When are they coming? What else? What about her? What about her? 
Where are you? Uh, where is? Where is? Uh, where, where is she? From? Where is she from? Where are you from? Where are you from? What are you studying? Where Where, where do you study? Party? Where is the party? Where is the notebook? Where is the notebook? How? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? How many? How do you spell? How do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? How do you say? How, how do you? Say, how, how, do you people? how many people? Etc. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? Why? Why are you here? Hey, why are you here? Why are you studying English? Why? Why? Why are you Why? Why are you angry? Are you crying? Why are you why? crying? Why are you angry? Why are you happy? Why? 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 Not? Why? why not? <laughs> why do you study English? Hey, why do you study English? Okay. Excellent. Very good. So now you have a general idea about it, right? So let's see. We're going to continue because uh, we still have another topic, people, and time is running. So in the platform, you're going to encounter also uh, some information about prepositions, okay? There are some prepositions of place and we need to go over them. When we finish, Okay, when we finish, we're going to start by, by asking for performing the conversation. I want you to be ready with the conversation tonight. So, actually, this is a question, okay, as you can see, we have a double H question with the verb to be, where are the keys? And we also have a preposition. They, these are called prepositions, okay? We have behind, we have on, we have in. This is the one that we are asking or we are using in the in the in the in the question, right? In, in front of, on, next to, uh, under, etc. Right. So we're gonna listen to this topic. It is simple. It is basic English, but it is quite important to learn. It. Look, where are the keys? Where are the keys? Behind. Ah, they are behind yeah. what? The keys are Be behind the box. Behind Where the are the box. keys? On the box. Ah, the they keys are, are on the box. The keys are on the keys box. Are or on the box. they are box. on the box. Where are the keys? The keys they are, are next to the box. They are the next to the box. box. Where are the keys? They are the under the box. They are are under the box. Where are the keys? The keys are, the keys are the front front the box. Box. and where are the keys? The, the keys are in the box. They are in the box. Oh, I'm sorry, Chrissy. I hope you will solve the problem. I hope you can solve the problem. Okay, now let us listen to what the guy is going to present, okay? Later, we're gonna see extra info. Then I would like for you to share your work Oops. in our discussion. Sorry. Not yet. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. Keys. The keys. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box in front of where are the keys we can see the keys are behind the box the keys are behind. 
are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. Are on the box. Keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now there is an observation out there. Recuérdense que es importantísimo eh, cerrar el micrófono cuando no estamos participando, ¿ok? Algunas veces se nos olvida y pues estamos escuchando algunas cositas de, de, propiamente de cada uno de sus hogares y eh, al mismo tiempo interrumpimos la clase. Ok, so, what would be the question over here, people? What's the, what's the question? What is the question? Yeah, what is the question over here? Completar las oraciones. Ah, where yeah, I mean. The books? Uh, where are the books? Where are the books? So that, that is the question, right? Where are the books? Are the books? All right, where are the books in the question mark? Good. What is the answer? The books are in the book bag. The books, the books are, in the, are book in the book bag. The books are in the book bag. Good. Now, what is the question in the number two? Where, where is, is the TV player? Where is the TV player? Where is the DVD player? Hey, where is the DVD player? Now, where is the, the answer? DVD Where's the answer? The TV player. The TV player is next to the television. Is next to the television, right? Question number three. Where is the map? The TV player is next to the television. The DVD player is next to the television, that's right. So in this one is, where is the? It's on. Um, hey, um, where is the map? The Map yeah, map is under, under, under newspaper. Under the newspaper. newspaper. What is the question map in the number four? Where is the chair? Now, we're going to do it in the contractive form. Now, pay attention. Where's, where's the chair? Where's, where's the chair? 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 Answer? The wallet it is on the purse. It's on the purse. Good. And the last one. The wallet is on the purse. The wallet is on the purse. Good. Question number six. Where is the Where cell phone? Is Where is the cell phone? Where is the cell phone? Where is the cell phone? Good. Where is the cell phone? Where is the cell phone? Answer? The cell phone is in front of the address book. From the address book. The address book. From the address book. The address book. Okay, very good. Perfect. Perfect, people. Very good. Now, actually, this is about 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 prepositions. Okay. So let me see. I don't think we're going to have enough time.
to see X information. But we're gonna try to complete this exercise. And later you are going to go over the conversation, people. Okay, so well, we're gonna see, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna listen to the audio, and then when we finish, you are going to tell me the way to complete the sentences, okay? This okay. is simple. This is simple. You will listen, you will remember, and then you will tell me the way the sentences should be completed. Here we go. Complete these sentences, then listen and check your answers. One. One. The Remember. books are in the book bag. Uh-huh. Two. The DVD player is next to the television. Remember. Three. The map is under the newspaper. Four. The chair is behind the desk. Five. The wallet is on the purse. And the last one. Six. The cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay, simple like that, right? So, how do you complete the first one? <coughs> in the book bag. Uh, the books are in the book. Book. Bag, right? Book bag. Aha, uh -huh. how do you complete the second one? The DVD player is next to the television. Next to the television. All right. Now, number three. The map is under the, under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. Under the newspaper. The chair. Behind the desk. Is behind the desk. Is behind the desk. Is behind. Oops. Is behind the desk. Behind the desk. The wallet is on the, the purse. Is on the purse. Is on the purse. Is on the purse. And the cell phone in front of the address book. In front of the address book. The address book. All right. So we're gonna check it. And you see in front of the address book, in front of the address book, pretty good. On the purse, on the purse, is behind, is behind the desk, behind the desk, under the newspaper, okay, next to the television, good. And in the book pack, in the book pack, all right, pretty good. Let me see. Uh, thank you, thank you. Hey, I can see Chrissy is as a listener, but she's interacting in the chat. Good, Chrissy. Congrats. Congrats, Jennifer, also. Congrats, very good. Now, any question about it? No. No. No, right. So well, we're gonna we're gonna finish with this with this topic over here. We're gonna have another listening. And later you're gonna tell us about the conversations, okay? Hacemos este ejercicio y ya luego todos eh, participan en la conversación, ¿ok? So we have like one, two, three, four, four questions only, right? And as you can see, the, the, the possible answers are the same. Under the table, in front of the television, on the chair, in the porch. Under the table, in front of the television. It's the same, right? Same story. But we need to identify the location of the things. For example, where are Kate's earrings? Where is Kate's watch? Where are Kate's sunglasses? And where is Kate's address book? Only those. Listen, please. Listen and try to remember. Where 
Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses. Where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. It's under the table, right? Sunglasses, address book. Now, people. Now, where are Kate's earrings? In the pores. In the pores. Okay. okay, so tell me complete answer. Tell me. They the are... Pores. They are they in the are pores. In the pores. In the pores. In the pores. Where is Kate's watch? In front of the television. Where is in front of the table? It is in front of television. It is, right? It is. It is in front of television. Where are Kate's sunglasses? On the chair. On the chair. They are on the chair. They on the chair. Are on the chair. They are. They are on the chair. They are on the chair. Where is Kate's address? Address book. It is under the under the table. Under the table. It is 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 on the chair. Uh, well, actually, we hear plural, right? They are. They are on the chair. On the chair. On the chair. It's in front of the television. It's in the purse, and that's it. Pretty good. Now, let me see. Jose, I think you have one question. Teacher, en el ejercicio en grupo teníamos una duda porque los lentes en teoría son uno solo, pero se tratan como pares o como uno. No, you, you, you talk in plural. They are. Ok, gracias. Ok, pretty good. So you say they are. You don't say it is. No, they are. Because you have one glass over here, you have another glass over here. So you have two. Ok, ok. Ok, very good. Ok, we're going to start with the with the conversations. Ok, so I hope you are more than ready to start with. We still have like 15 minutes to go over to go over the, the conversations. Well, uh, Maria Jose, who did you work with? Okay, thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Jorge. Lo he estado repitiendo en, en reiteradas ocasiones. Eh, tengamos como es, ese, esa amabilidad de cerrar el micrófono cuando no estemos participando, ¿ok? Uh, María José, second, second time. Well, Maria Jose doesn't answer. Jorge, Jorge Jose, who did you work with? Sorry? Who did you work with yesterday? Conversation. Ahorita quiero ver quiénes están conectados. Estén listos porque ahorita van a participar con la conversación, ¿ok? Creo que no están las compañeras, pero yo hice una. La leo. Please, please, Jorge. Ok. Ahorita. 
Hello, what's your name? My name is Jorge. And your name? My name is Gerardo. And what is your last name? My last name is Herrero. Guerrero? No, it's Herrero. H E R R E R O. Oh, I understand. It's nice to meet you, Gerardo. Nice to meet you too, Jorge. That's it. That's it. Excellent, Jorge. Pretty good. I really like that. Okay, so whenever you find out, for example, do, 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 here, do you say double R? Si acaso va a decir double okay, R, okay. Da, double M, double N, double uh, etc. Double E, okay, double A. Excellent, but that was quite good, Jorge. Good. Let's listen Thank to you. quite good. Let's listen to Joanna Stephanie. Uh, with Sarah. Uh, you work with Sarah, all right? So Sarah, yeah. I think Sarah is over here. Sarah Vigail, right? Yeah. Uh, hi, what's your name? Hello, my name is Sarah. It's spelled like S A R A. What is your name? I am Joanna. It's spelled like this. J O S L N N A. What's your last name? My last name is Hernandez. It's spelled H E R N A N D E C. Nice to meet you, Zara. It's nice to meet you too. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. What is your... Seven three two five 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 seven seven four five. What is your number phone? Seven seven eight. Five 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 eight nine three two. What is? It is a ring. What are these? They are skirts. So lame. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joanna and Sarah. Pretty good, great, great conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Joanna. That was fantastic. Jonathan Ulises, your turn. Okay, uh, Marcela. My name is, uh, hi, what is your name? Hi, my name is Marcela, what's your name? My name is Jonathan Guzman, what is, What's your last name? My, my last name is Peñate. How do you spell first name? Yes, uh, my name is spelled M-I-R-C-E-L-I-A. Do you spell your last name? It's, it's G-U-Z-Z-N. A N. It's nice to meet you, Marcela. Nice to meet you too, Jonathan. What's your phone number? My phone number is six one zero seven nine one eight two. What what you cell phone? What you cell phone, Marcela? My phone number is six nine nine three seven seven one eight. Okay, thank you. Why why are you studying English? Because I'm like I'm like to learn. Oh my god, it's nice. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. Great. Great conversation. Congratulations, Jonathan and Marcela. Great job. Great job.
Okay, we're gonna listen to the last, the last team. Jennifer Flores. What do you work with? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Eh, no sé, está, creo que fue con Henry. Is Henry here? Yes, teacher. Uh, Henry is over eh, here. Henry, tú tienes la conversación. Eh, no. Creo que, creo la que la podemos desarrollar así. Eh, si no puedo, no sé si puedo compartir la pantalla para que la pueda ver. Ok. No sé, no sé si la ven. Yeah, we can see it. Nosotros la hicimos bien pequeña, pero... Uh, hello, Henry. My name is Jennifer Flores, and I am 30 years old, and I have a child. Oye, mamota. Henry. Hello, Jennifer. What is your daughter name? daughter's name? Her name is Elisa. How do you spell her name? It's E L I C and A. Okay, it's a beautiful name. Thank you, Henry. Uh, what is your phone number? My phone Hi, number. Thank you. My phone number is seven four eight six five nine eight two. Okay, uh, it's a place you're helping. Thank you, Jennifer. That's all. Okay, pretty good. Ahora no sé cómo quitarla para compartir. Okay, let me see. Okay, give me a second. Excellent. Yeah, let's see. Now, yes, we got into the session again. Excellent job. Pretty good. Great job. Hey, volunteers. Volunteers. Only volunteers. The volunteers. Hello, hello. Okay, there are no. Hello? Okay, Jorge, Jorge, go ahead. Jorge Ulises. Pero no tengo. Okay. Who did you work with yesterday, Jorge? Uh, no, 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 no recuerdo. You don't, you don't remember? Mm, well, why don't you read the conversation, Jorge? What's your name? Uh, my name is Jorge. Your name is Jorge? No, my name is Jorge with J. My name is Pellet. My name, my name is Pellet. J O R G E. Could you spell your last name? My name, my last name is spelled E S C O B A R. What is your phone number? Is Seven one four zero oh, six 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 one. Thank you, Jorge. Good night. Thank you, Jorge. That was quite good. Thank you very much. Well, I think we're gonna stop over here. Nos vamos a detener por acá. Por ahí les compartí algunos enlaces. Creo que me falta uno todavía. Y esto le voy a compartir. Para que ustedes pues tengan el material que utilizo yo en mis sesiones, aparte de lo que está en la plataforma 
Recuérdense que esta noche tienen que haber cumplido con los ejercicios de la plataforma hasta la sección número 2. Ok, porque eso ya queda registrado en su progreso del nivel número 1. Eh, Juliana, o Juliana, I don't know. Eh, sí, teacher, yo quería indicarle que aún no me han agregado al grupo. Fíjese que quiero ver, Juliana, Juliana, ¿cómo? Yo ya lo notifiqué, Juliana. Eh, me imagino que como, como por el número de, de participantes y los grupos que se han creado, pues ellos este, están como eh, solventando quizás algunos otros casos, ¿verdad? Pero no tenga pena porque yo ya lo notifiqué. Ah, pero en este caso, teacher, con las actividades, no mm. sé cómo haría. Sí, de igual manera, este, yo, voy a, yo voy a recordarles, ¿verdad? Que usted tiene esa situación y que al no más este, usted se le habilite la plataforma, usted la va a solventar, ¿ok? Ah, bueno, está bien. Ok. Gracias. Ok, no more questions. Uh, let me see, Sara. Sara, no le escuchamos. Perdón. Okay. Este, yo completé la, la, la lección 1 y 2 y yo voy a terminar la 3. Pero no sé si le aparece. Porque en la tabla que usted mandó, sale que yo no las he completado. Vaya, si no las ha, si aparece que no las ha completado es porque a lo mejor este, no le dimos enviar. Y siempre hay que darle la opción de enviar de tal manera que quede registrado el avance. Permítame, creo que ahorita lo podemos visualizar. Parece que por aquí siempre les aparece esto, de enviar. Si usted lo... Sí, le di clic ahí, ahí. Bueno, esa podría ser una, una, una situación. La otra situación puede ser alguna dificultad con internet. Ok, esa podría ser otra. Pero este, yo le sugiero que pues lo revise. Y que si aparece que no, no ha, todavía no ha progresado, que, le, que lo vuelva a hacer. ¿Ok? De, de tal manera que, pues, no, no hace daño volver a hacer los ejercicios. No son muy largos, ¿ok? Y además de eso, pues, aprendemos o reafirmamos lo que ya hemos venido estudiando. Si el, el problema persiste, entonces comuníquenlo en el grupo. Bye. Ok. Ligia. Buenas noches, teacher. Fíjese Buenas de sí. que eso es algo bien frecuente de que hemos estado observando porque he estado viendo en el grupo de que varios compañeros tenemos problemas. Yo por lo menos desde principios de la semana había completado la sección 1 y 2 y la sí, primera sí. vez que tiraron notas eh, no me aparecía la sección 2 ya evaluada y aún subiendo las respuestas. Bueno, incluso ahora tuve que notificar por mensaje privado a, a Briseida sí, sí. y ella tuvo que ingresar desde mi link y yo darle mi contraseña para que ella revisara de que realmente yo ya había hecho todos los ejercicios, porque incluso ella, cuando ella revisaba, no aparecían completos, pero cuando ella revisó desde mi perfil, ella se fijó de que todo estaba correcto. O sea, sí. está dando demasiados problemas en la plataforma. Ah, ok. Entonces, eso es muy bueno, que lo notifiquen, porque ahorita, ahorita puedo ver yo las, las calificaciones. Y quiero ver por aquí cómo está la cuestión. Ajá. Vaya, pero acá la mayoría aparece con avance. Solo quiero ver uno o dos personas que todavía no. Tres personas que todavía no aparecen con avance. Pero si ustedes se dan cuenta, pues... La, bueno, la mayoría ya los tiene. Ya tiene, porque acuérdense que es sección 1 y sec sección 2, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, en su mayoría ya lo tiene. Solo veo que por acá, pues, Jonathan Guzmán no tiene avance. Juliana Antonieta tampoco tiene avance. Karen Vanessa. Y Crisi, que le hace falta este, una sección. De ahí los demás. Bueno, Linda Ora también le hace falta una parte. María José. Y Esmeralda. Pero en su gran mayoría ya todos tienen la nota. No sé en realidad a qué se debe que... Seguramente hay algún fallo, ¿verdad? Hay algún fallo técnico y hay que, hay que ver cómo este, lo solventamos para que no nos quede, digamos, ese espacio de que no hemos hecho las actividades. El progreso en la, en la, en la plataforma es sumamente importante porque eh, de alguna manera eso se va a ver reflejado al final del curso. Entonces, si ustedes lo vuelven a realizar y les da el mismo problema, no duden en comunicarlo en el grupo. ¿okay? Porque ahí siempre los técnicos están, están observando y están este, en la disposición de apoyarle. ¿De acuerdo? Eh, Jonathan, Ulises. De acuerdo. Hola, hola, teacher. Este, este, fíjese que bueno, yo en el avance que mandaron este día en el grupo aparecía que ya había complementado la sección 1 al 100% y el Ajá. 50% de la otra. Eh, ah, eso okay. fue como a la una y media terminé de completar la otra parte, la sección 2, pero ahorita me llama la atención que menciona que no tengo como bueno, registrado. Hay que esperar, Jonathan, porque a lo mejor también la plataforma se está actualizando. Ajá, bueno, ya bien. si digamos mañana envían digamos resultados los compañeros y no nos vemos no vemos el avance entonces ahí mismo lo hay que comunicarlo verdad y decir yo completé cierta parte y no entiendo por qué todavía no, no me aparece reflejado el avance verdad pero hay que notificarlo en el grupo ok sí porque lo que acaba de ver es lo del momento ahorita o es algo ya que había descargado anteriormente no, es lo que estoy viendo de momento. Ah, sí, porque en el grupo cabal, como el que mandaron hoy, sí aparecía como el 150% avanzado, ¿verdad? Ahora me faltaba sí, sí. el 50% de la segunda sección, pero hay que esperar a ellos que notifiquen, ¿verdad? Tal sí. vez. esperemos y cualquier cosa, pues voy a ver, este, el, yo lo notifico, de, no hay en el mismo grupo, porque yo veo que cuando algunos de ustedes escriben, pues este, yo ya lo notifico aparte, ¿verdad? Para ver qué, qué es lo que pueda estar sucediendo. Pero sí, no se preocupen que eh, el avance sí les va a aparecer. De acuerdo. Gracias, Ticho. Ok, entonces, no sé si nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos el día lunes. Por ahí les compartí ciertos enlaces, que son los enlaces que ocupé esta noche para que ustedes estén repasando, ¿ok? Recuérdense que hay que aprender algo nuevo todos los días, una palabra, cinco palabras, una expresión, dos expresiones, cinco expresiones, a modo de que ustedes, ustedes vayan este, eh, construyendo su propio aprendizaje también. Y no solo nos quedemos con los 60 minutos de la clase, ¿ok? Ok, good night. Ok, good night. Okay. Good night, people. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, good night. Good night, Mr. Morales. See you Monday. Okay. Good night, good night Bye. everybody. See you on Monday. Thank you. See you on Monday. <laughs>